Committee on Legislative Matters, formerly known as the Ordinance Committee, uh, for our meeting of February 8th. And we've done our role. Councilor Scare is here, Councilor Donald's here, I'm Councilor Murphy. Councilor Adams is sick tonight, so he's not with us. Uh, I'll call for public comment, but as you can tell at home, there's nobody here but us, so we don't need any public comment. And we've got our role counted. Um, so the first item is election of chair and vice chair. Move to open nominations for chair. Okay. Hi. Okay. Um, I nominate Councilor Murphy as chair. Being only three of us here, I won't call for other nominations since we made the second. So uh, close nominations for chair. Move to close. All in favor? Aye. All in favor of Councilor Murphy's chair, say aye. 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 No speech. No speech. <laughs> no speech. Um, and do you want to elect a vice chair? I guess it's optional. Or do you want to wait until Councilor Adams is here to do that? We could. Yeah, just a comment. I mean, we don't have to. As you know, we never had vice chairs before. We're not required to. So mm -hmm. we get along fine with that one. So. Do you want to leave it as it is for now? And then if we, if we need one in the future, we can elect, I assume we can elect a vice chair whenever we want. I wind up catching with Councilor Adams as it disappears for a couple of months. We may want to vice chair. Okay. Hopefully, he'll be back with us. So, um, just, just as an observation, the Finance Committee is always is the committee that had the you know had the substitute the most, and it was mostly during council mm -hmm. you know, meetings. So, it's up to you whether or not you want to. And that might make sense there to have a vice chair, mm -hmm. just because yeah. if I'm asking from that meeting at, at council, because that meets at least twice a month, sometimes three times. So we do have some so maybe we may want to do that when we actually meet in finance. Um, but again, Councillor Adams is on finance and he wasn't there the last time because he was at the beginning of the building. So no, vice vice chair. Vice chair. Yeah. All right. So our next item is our meeting schedule for twenty sixteen and that looks like now we're typically first Monday, which is today, but then in March we're second Monday. Second Monday. Is the first Monday a holiday or and what? Mar the March meeting. Because we usually meet first Monday. Right, the first uh, the first is on a Monday. The seventh is on a Monday. Oh we meet the second Monday. Yeah, these all look like second Monday too. Oh that's right, public safety meets first, so this is we're second Monday. Or on, or on committee. So I'm not even on public safety anymore, and it isn't even called public safety. I know. <laughs> yeah, I <didn't> touch on <laughs> So these these look okay to everybody now that I'm unconfused about. Yeah, we like to ever tend to. Well, I'm glad you already recollected me, Chair. Now that I can't even figure out which day yeah, we Maybe we do need a last. Just re yeah, let's redo that. <laughs> um, do those look okay? Yeah. So you want to make a motion to? You all in favor? Aye. Good. And now the scorecard of what we actually can deal with tonight. Um, because we, for those watching at home, we typically are the last committee to deal with things. And most of the items on our agenda have been referred to other committees and they haven't uh, weighed in on their recommendations yet. Um, what, I mean, we certainly can talk about them, but we can't act on them. Is there anything here you want to? talk about given that I think we established on all of them yep. about everything here on our agenda um, the first item uh, ordinance to delete cheap fees from chapter 174 of the code book that's out to another committee correct Fine, yes. Fine, yes. Okay. and the ordinance to delete chapter 290 from the code book is out as well ordinance Pertain to LED lighting is with which committee? That's with Community Resources. Community Resources. Okay. Uh, parking on Center Street is with Transportation and Parking. Mm -hmm. um, zoning for significant trees is with that with Community Resources as well. Mm -hmm. And it's not even. It, it, it wasn't referred back it, to this committee, so this can be crossed off. Oh, so we don't need. So that one isn't coming back to us. Um, and the sick time. Acceptance of Mass General Law 149, Section 148C is back at the City Council, right? And that's until July. July. So that's not around. Um, 
So that brings us up to the new new business, unless there's one of those items you want to talk about. Just a quick comment. I mean, for the first two, we want to get the solicitor here mm -hmm. when it actually comes to us, because mm -hmm. I think, I mean, deleting fees, I think we probably shouldn't just delete that chapter. I think we'll probably have to substitute it with some kind of fee policy. Mm -hmm. This came from the Ordinance Review Committee. We talked about, for example, if a fee is increased by a certain percentage for a certain period of time, should we have a policy that the mayor has to hold a, meet, a hearing about it and mm -hmm. what kind of accountability mechanisms like that? And so, and there are exceptions. There are fees that um, have to be set by ordinance, I think. So, anyway, for those two, I think we want the solicitor to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Just enough. All right. And I do, um, or I have in the past chatted with him. Right. You know, the beginning of the week when we meet, right. so he can. He says, "Is there anything you want me there for?" Mm -hmm. So that we don't waste his time, because when we bring him here, it costs the city money. So mm -hmm. usually he'll call me and say, "Anything you need me for tonight?" And I'll tell him yes or no, depending on what we're doing. Um, the LED light will be on the And I understand um, that many of the public hearings we used to hold are now going to be held by community resources. Did, did that come from the... That, I mean, we did refer some zoning that we've traditionally taken up in this committee to community resources. I mean, that's just a choice whether we continue to do it or not. Okay. So it isn't a... Because I wasn't at that meeting. Right. So it isn't a permanent change. It's just for those yeah. issues. So it allows you so okay, so it may still come here. Zoning is one of the things that's covered by community. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And it's perfectly fine for them to do that function. It just has to have. It has to be. A, there has to be a joint public hearing with planning and something from the city council. But it could just as easily be that committee. Uh, the only thing we will just not act on until it comes back from those two, from those two committees. And our, our interview on that committee. Right. Community? Okay, so. When we meet here, you can convey, Councilor O'Donnell often tells us what was discussed at transportation and parking. You can tell us what happened with the community resources on his own matter. And just so you know that the um, that committee will be holding the two public hearings on February 22nd. Okay, that's already scheduled. And there is, are they with the planning board? I don't think so. Okay. Planning board is having their Okay, because sometimes they do in conjunction with the planning board. Sometimes you do them on your own. But you'll be able to tell us what came from that when it finally when it finally comes here. Is Councilor Adams on that way too? No.